The House committee gives us a stark warning of what is to come or what could come with the war with the C word country. Now, what I'm going to present to you is facts, figures, numbers, logic. These are things that are happening in an economic system based on a changing world order. Now, I think it's important to educate yourself and understand these are historical cycles and one of the biggest shifts, not only in generational wealth, but in the spiritual world, the financial world, and social geopolitical. The world as we know it is going to be completely different in the next 10 years. So the House Committee simulated a war with the seaward country if they invade Taiwan. At the same time, the seaward country simulates an invasion of Taiwan. I'm going to show you the 30,000 foot overview of what's happening at a geopolitical sphere. This is a much bigger picture, guys. Both countries are extremely buried in debt. America is in a massive decline in power. I'm going to show you what it looks like on a chart from Ray Dalio. And remember what happened in 2019? The World Economic Forum did a pandemic preparedness response. And by 2020, we were in a pandemic. So both countries did a simulation on an invasion of Taiwan. And here's what President Biden said about an invasion of Taiwan. Taiwan makes their own judgments about their independence. We are not moving. We're not encouraging their being independent. We're not. Let, that's their decision. But would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. So unlike Ukraine, to be clear, sir, U.S. forces, U.S. men and women would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion? Yes. That was fall last year. And then this week, this is what the House committee was doing. Read that. Then a year later, here's Janet Yellen talking about her relationship with China. Fair. We will continue to partner with our allies to respond to China's unfair economic practices. And we will continue to make critical investments at home while engaging with the world to advance our vision for an open, fair, and rules-based global economic order. So this is the changing world order. We are now in number 13, the decline, which is large debt. 14 is printing money. Number 15 is internal conflict. Within the next 10 years, we'll have a loss of reserve currency. 17 is weak leadership, and then civil war and revolution. That's why they don't teach this stuff in school. It's very easy to see when you understand the mechanisms of human behavior, greed, and politics. Warriors, ah, let's get your shit together. Love you guys. If you want to join my 120-day challenge, link in bio. Love to see you on the inside.